Hi, I'm Ashley Adamson, and now you are sitting at my computer desk. We're going to do a screen share today, and I'm going to walk you through some basic tips that I found super useful. Maybe they're not basic. Maybe they're more like power tips to uh, improve your speaking capabilities um, and, and using your voice. And what's funny today is my voice is not that feminine. I'm having an allergic reaction to what's going on out there. So I'd say it's a lot raspier and a lot like lower than what I'm used to. So this is the perfect day for me to talk about this, isn't it? Um, I'm not a voice coach. I'm really just like a person that speaks on personal growth and development and sex topics. But I found that through the people that I'm coaching, uh, that they have found a lot of value in the voice aspect of the coaching that I'm giving. So I am going to share this and hopefully it helps you. I have been trained by Zianna, who is more famously known as Trans Voice Lessons on YouTube. She has like incredibly detailed and um, engineering like brain stuff that I think is very good to listen to and really helpful. But the one thing that I've heard, the downside of that is it's very, very technical. And sometimes you just need the basic straight, go ahead, do the stuff and like, just figure it out kind of thing. And I've made a video like this before, but I haven't made a video where we're working directly with the voice measurement and such. So let's jump into that, shall we? So um, this is what I recommend. This is what Zianna gave me, uh, speechandhearing.net slash laboratory AM pitch. This will give you a uh, reading immediately in live of, feedback where it shows you where your voice is and how it's moving up and down in the pitch. So uh, one thing to note is you may want to configure it because I think if you have it as default, it's it's a lot lower. Like if I set it like this, then it's just trying to create space for the man. And then if you do the woman, it goes a lot higher. So it's just kind of like you may want to configure it a bit. I think 400, 350, even 300 is a bit high. So what I like to do is I like to make it, let's say, maximum 350 and then minimum is 120 because 120 is around the range of, of male and you definitely don't want to be there. You want to kind of escape that, um, escape that. So I'm going to give you some power tips on working with your voice. I'll have to say that I'm not perfect. So if you're having a hard time dealing with it or you just don't feel like that you can do it, um, know that not everyone's perfect. And even if you are perfect, your perfectness can also give you away if your goal is to pass. I have noticed that some trans women are so good at it that it, it becomes very obvious that they've had voice training. So like what I would encourage you on the psychological side of working with your voice is to think about like uh, where you're coming from when you speak and how that affects your um your feeling and your enunciation and how you express, because that's a large part of experiencing what you're speaking. You could actually speak with a lower voice and that would be fine if you kind of expressed it in a way that is feminine or aligned in however you identify. So let's talk a little bit about this frequency spectrum because we're looking at it right now and that's probably a good thing to talk about as I continue to talk. So here we are in the 150 range so 150 down here is kind of more in the male range. And then anywhere kind of around here is kind of non-binary. And then anything up here becomes more feminine. So I'm just going to lower my voice and let's see how low we can go. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm, I'm going so low. Uh, let me just speak in more of a man voice. I'm going so low that like I need to actually go lower. So let's see here. So... Hello, hello, hello. All right, great. So I'm like, if I'm just like speaking as a as a man voice, I'm. It seems like I'm kind of hovering around uh, 120 and going up to, well, like so. Okay, so I'm enunciating and I'm like bouncing around because I'm used to speaking like a female. So let me hold on. I think when when men speak, they speak lower and they don't tend to jump around as much so maybe this would be more like how a man would talk 
would be to just kind of talk like this and be like, yo, what's up, bro? How's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Like, this is good. This is kind of where my the voice of my range is. And this is kind of like how I how I speak. Um, but like, that's not where I speak. And now, um, as I speak a lot, you'll see that I kind of jump around a lot more on the speak frequency spectrum. And that's just a typical, um, thing that women do. So thinking about just to start with where you like how, how you move up and down in the spectrum can be really helpful. Um, see, like I kind of just jumped up there and I kind of stood here for a little bit and then I kind of went back down. The other thing, and I'm terrible at this, I'm not so good, is you want to end on every word where you kind of go up or like you want to just do that as often as you can because if you don't, what you'll find is as you practice holding your pitch, your pitch is just going to gradually go down and down and down because you're just ending on a lower note and you're then just letting the part of you in the throat that your larynx um, just stay more relaxed and stay down. So it's like if you start at a lower place, then you're just going to start at a lower place in the next word and you just continue to go down and down and down like you can see it's happening here. Now, the mechanics of it, there's a lot of mechanics. There's a lot of practice. You have to practice. That's definitely like a really important thing. But the, the main mechanics, the power of mechanics, so to speak, are, um, are let's see, is it two things or is it three things? Um, e... Eh, and uh, yeah, I think I think it's actually just two things that are like the most important thing. So um, speaking with an e, 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 um, like if you were to take an I and extend that and go e. So here I am speaking with an e sound, and you can see that it just takes me higher up in the pitch spectrum but it sounds very unnatural because I'm just staying here in this space and I'm not really jumping around a lot. If I were to just kind of push it a little further and jump around a lot more and speak a lot more fluidly, even going down a little bit, that's fine because it just sounds a little bit more natural and less robotic. The part that is uh, missing to this is the uh, eh, or the um, the the location of your larynx. So that's kind of your larynx. And if you can go, that's your larynx. Now you don't need to feel it. Like you don't need to feel the tension, though you may feel that. You want to avoid the tension. Anything that creates tension in your voice will become obvious. If you watch some of my older YouTube videos, you'll see this because I just automatically conditioned and learned how to speak with uh, more tension. So I've actually had to spend time learning to uh, reduce tension so that I can speak more naturally and more fluidly um, without applying too much pressure. So that's something I'm still working on, honestly. But to move your lengths, you kind of just go, and then you just want to stay there at the larynx placement. So there's the larynx placement. And then I add in the E and then suddenly I'm like really high up here. And that's like fine if I want to sound like this in, in this really like super high feminine way. But like it just doesn't feel very natural or comfortable. And maybe that's just because I haven't practiced being up here and, and doing it like this. And so typically where I will sit is somewhere around here. And then like, I'll sometimes go up or I'll sometimes go a little down. Today, my voice is allergic. So like my throat is allergic. So I'm actually a, a little lower than where I'm usually at. But you can see kind of like where I've comfortably sat here is when you look at the ups and downs, you can see that I'm kind of around here, which is definitely more in the feminine zone. And that's great. That's like what I want to see. If I can just remember that I'm also, if you're looking at these pitches where I'm ending my sentences, I'm going down. So I, I don't want to do that. I actually want to go up as much as I can or inflect up at the end. So like if I were to inflect up, then like that helps me do things where I'm I'm kind of going up a little bit. So that's that's great, you know, and it's just weird. Like you have to then think about some of the things that you're doing in terms of like your feminine voice and where you want to be and how, how feminine do you want to be? Like, I don't like that ditzy, like, um, Valley girl 
like, I mean, like, how do you feel about the embodiment of the persona that you're, you're buying into the audio persona, right? Like if you're like, oh, okay, like totally. And this is like really cool. Oh, what's going on with that? Like you sound like an LA girl that doesn't have a lot of brains. And I know that there's plenty of smart LA girls that don't sound like they have brains and really do have a lot of brains, but I just, I don't like that. So where I typically stay is I stay in, in what I've considered to be my comfortable range that I like. So uh, I hope this was helpful for you to think about and to use in as a tool. I would say try and do this about 10, 10 minutes a day and uh, record yourself just talking and speaking. The other thing to think about is you do not know how you sound until you can listen to yourself speaking because the resonance in your face is also affecting how you're hearing yourself. So this is also important to, to know. So the best thing that I've done that has really helped me improve in speaking is to just speak, to practice speaking and to use this tool for 10 minutes a day in a week, maybe for a few weeks, record, say stuff, and then put it through this, like play it back to this recorder to see how it sounds. Uh, let me know in the comments if this was helpful. If you want to see more voice stuff, I am not a voice expert, but I do know what works and have helped other people find what works for them. And I'll see you in another episode soon. Bye.